Hi all, I'm Maya Barreto with CFOIC Heartland. Thanks for joining me. I am excited to share with you our community of the month. My community, Carnation Roan. Carnation Roan was established in 1977 by a group of dedicated families eager to settle the barren hilltops, their divinely promised homeland. They gave up so much, lived in caravans for years just to secure the right to establish this town. Today, Carnation Roan has 11,000 residents and growing. There are lots of children. In fact, more than 50% of the population here is under the age of 21. The people are friendly. They are living life with purpose and they are united in the love of the land and commitment to establish a strong, thriving Jewish presence in the biblical heartland. I personally moved to Carnation Roan six years ago with my husband and children from Seattle, Washington. We chose Carnation Roan because it checked many of the boxes of things that we cared about. It has a very warm and welcoming religious community. It is close to urban centers and it has deep biblical roots. Five minute walk from my house, you can see archeological remnants of wine storage from the time of the second temple and Carnation Roan overlooks a beautiful deep valley called Nahal Kana that served in biblical times as a natural boundary between the tribal lands of Ephraim and Menashe. We have a lot of amenities here in Carnation Roan for such a small town, but still some specialty services are not so readily available. In order to get those, you have to either wait several months for a specialist to come here or drive to one of the urban centers. And it's really not the hassle of getting in your car and driving for 30 minutes or an hour. It, it's really the danger that sometimes is involved. Um, Carnation Roan is located near many Arab towns and two very large Arab cities, Calcilia and Nablus. Both are notorious as terrorist hotbeds and driving on Highway 55 just outside of Carnation Roan requires awareness and vigilance when you're driving. You can't just listen to your tunes and, um, and think of something else. You have to always look around at the road and make sure there's nobody by the side of the road about to throw cocktail, uh, Molotov cocktail or a rocks. And sometimes there are even shooting incidents here on the side of the road. But despite uh, these challenges, these risks, I feel living here is a dream come true. My grandfather uh, was a Orthodox Jew in 1930s in Poland. He was a cantor and that meant he was the prayer leader in his Orthodox synagogue in Poland. He, uh, he led services and they prayed three times a day for their ability to return to their divinely promised homeland. And I get to do it. I get to fulfill this, his prayers and biblical prophecy by living here and raising my children here. CFOIC Heartland has been supporting Carnation Roan for years, from helping purchase surveillance cameras, supporting a children's development center, planting trees, and many other projects. This year, Carnation Roan is asking for your help with a unique project supporting grieving families. As a mother, I can't even wrap my brain around what one must go through losing a young child or for a child to lose a mother. But unfortunately in Carnation Run, there's a growing number of families who are grieving families, who are experiencing this grief, not just as an individual, but as each individual family member and then the family as a whole. And it takes a toll. It causes children to spiral out of control, sometimes causing them to engage in at-risk activity, parents distancing themselves, and family bonds fraying at the edges. It speaks volumes about the compassion nature of the people of Carnation Roan wanting to help and be there supporting community members who are going through such tragic circumstances. The Carnation Roan Family Center provides these grieving families a safe space where they can get counseling and attend workshops where they can, as a family, express their grief, 
move towards joy, find purpose, and rebuild family bonds. By supporting this project, you will be helping the widow, supporting the orphan of families in biblical Israel. If you've been to Carnation Run before, you know what a special place it is. If you haven't, I invite you to come visit us. Whether you've been here or not, I hope you join us in supporting this project. I hope you enjoyed that film. And we have lots more film content and emails and articles that I'm sure you will enjoy as well. Check out our website at cfoic.com and subscribe to our newsletter. You can do that right from the homepage. I know you will really enjoy the content that will land in your inbox on a regular basis. Hope to see you soon.